up to this moment, uh, historically and experience-wise, uh, medical care is still a high-touch business, high-touch service. Uh, so um, there's still some controversy uh, whether it can, at this stage, 100% replace um, the uh, uh, doctor-patient mm. direct uh, uh, sort of type of uh, interaction. Okay. Right, and I think that's the issue itself. I mean, some people worry when you're sick, you still want to see the doctor. I mean, nothing replaces the human altogether. But is it more useful at different stages? I mean, being a doctor yourself, would you say that detection, diagnosis, I mean, at what stage do you think AI is the most useful? Uh, I, I give an example. Uh, I come across a, 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 a mother. Mm. He, he, she has a pair of twins. Mm. So... <clears throat> He uh, tried to enter the data and go for an AI diagnostic aid, and, the, um, and some suggestion was given to her. So one of the uh, twin uh, got recovered the other day, mm -hmm. and the other one got more sick and refused to eat. Mm -hmm. And then the third day, the, 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 the first one even jumped and played around, and the second one become very drowsy. So in that situation, guess what you can do? Bring to see a doctor. Mm -hmm. So I, I think... Um, AI helps the doctor, mm -hmm. and the doctor cannot uh, uh, do a future good doctor without AI. But I don't think at this stage um, we are 100% or even close to 100% that AI uh, can replace a uh, historical high-touch, uh, uh, you know, what temperate type of uh, mm -hmm. doctor-patient relationship, uh, because um, you know the example of this twin is a is a good case. Uh, because you, you, in AI, they all talk about probabilities. Now, uh, image matching is different. Image matching is different. So in terms of treatment, mm -hmm. uh, you need a personalization. In terms of diagnostic aid, it's a different category. Right. So I would say at the end of the day, all patients want recovery. They want the relief of their pain, and not only the diagnosis. So I think AI definitely helpful, in, particularly in uh, diagnosis. And also in long case, complicated long case, when the medical hi history is so long that the doctor don't have time to read it. So if there's a system that can make sure there's uh, one, one phase, one world, mm -hmm. or one phase, one all doctors, this type of uh, safety and authentication system that can support all players of the digital health, that will make the AI even more useful because then the patient can discharge the file through the AI provider, link with the uh, uh, doctors, to so make the time that is required to read the history that takes about a half a day become very efficient mm -hmm. and on the table before the patient walk into your surgery. And I think what you, the message there then is that it's improving healthcare, but AI is not going to be replacing the human doctor. I, say, I would say it's enhancing, enhancing. and, 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 the, uh, uh, and uh, uh, whether it's complementary or not, uh, it's hard to say at this stage. Okay. And Jai, I wonder if you can weigh in on this too, because your patients face a little bit of a different scenario than having the doctor in their town or the town mm -hmm. over. If they're overseas, they may not have the luxury of getting into the doctor's office. So in that way, will AI replace a doctor's visit for them? I, I think definitely, because we are building uh, telemedicine in our uh, apps today, where you can consult a doctor mm -hmm. uh, from the convenience of your home. Not for emergency, but you, you want to consult a doctor in the middle of night mm -hmm. and you have an option to go online and then chat with the doctor, video chat. And I think AI and Internet of Things are going to change the way we deliver healthcare in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at medicines and, you know, in, in our world, 30% of the medical causes, uh, you know, the, the claims are medicines, pharmacy. And in the earlier scenario, we, we didn't have any access to the pharmacy delivered to the, you know, to the mm -hmm. patients. Um, I think AI and pharmacogenomics, uh, you know, collecting all this data in a single place would help in reducing the ADR deaths. In the US, 200,000 people die every year of ADR. Wow. And majority of the, uh, the, the, the mistakes happens at the time of prescription hmm. or uh, the time of dispersing medicines or at the time of administering. With AI and uh, you know, artificial intelligence, we can re reduce a lot of these mistakes and save millions of lives.